Hey guys, this is Kevin. Today we're going to work on this uh, Epson WF compact printer that it cannot recognize the cartridge. Of course, the first thing to do is just click OK and uh, take the cartridge out and make sure you have enough ink in the cartridge. If your cartridge is depleted, it will show that uh, the cartridge is not recognized. Also, check this green chip. Make sure that you don't have ink or anything dirty on it. And the next thing to check is uh, those pins. This is called a CSIC assembly. Make sure all the pins are there. You should have nine pins, five on top, uh, actually five on the bottom. WF100 is a compact printer, so use shorter pins. This regular one, and my left hand is the WF100. You can see it's missing the middle pin. The four top pins are good, but on the bottom, the middle one, the middle pin is missing. Uh, let me give you another angle. You can see this has open slot. We actually found the inside of our printer, and uh, here's what it looks like. So take a look of your printer if you see a missing pin, and this video is for you. Uh, here's another surprise coupon for my subscribers. Use this coupon at here. I think it's here. Uh, no, it's here. Use the coupon there, and the coupon is only valid for 24 hours after the video is released. To fix the broken pin, the first thing we need to do is to remove the case from the printer. Uh, I have an uncasing video that's in really detail how to take the case off. So I'm not going to repeat here. I'm going to post the link above so you can know where to find it. I also post a link in the description of this video. So uh, follow that video, take the case off, and uh, then come back to here. Okay, you're back. So pick out the printer and turn this wheel. I guess it's clockwise. Now the printhead carriage is freed. We take the cartridges out, and uh, after that, if we lift up the FFC cables, that means the FFC is the, the wide flat cable. Uh, if you lift that one up, you're going to see the tiny screws, uh, which you can access through those holes. So just move the cartridge around so you can unscrew those. Those secure the CSIC assembly to the base. When you remove the cover for the CSAC board, and uh, let me take the piece I already removed. You can see there's a tab on the right and uh, there's a tab on the left. So if we squeeze them in from the left and right, and uh, we can just uh, peel it up and uh, release it vertically. So uh, when I press in on the right, uh, this part will already pop up. Now I'm going to press on the left, uh, press on this hook, and uh, the whole thing is going to come off. Uh, don't worry if uh, you broke it. I mean, there's no much need for it. It's just cosmetic. You're going to need a number zero screwdriver. Uh, if you have a hard time finding it, uh, go to Ace Hard Hardware Store, or you can get a precision tool. And uh, normally they will have a number zero uh, Phillips screwdriver. Remove the two screws on the right. Now the color CSS can be taken off. You can see the front of the pin is completely missing. And the, the back is there, but it is a little bit out of place. Now we need to remove the remaining of this pin. You can see it's already a little bit higher. That probably because some kind of force to that broken the pin that's that that's made it. Anyway, so I will just get a sharp knife and lift it up and uh, then remove it. And there we go. And you can see it's all clear and uh, ready for a new pin. Now we go to our beloved the BCH Technologies.com and uh, go to Printer Parts, Epson, Electronic Board Assembly. And here, uh, scroll down on your left and uh, select a CSSA terminal. 
you can see th this is one small brass pin for WF100. Or uh, if you're rich, you can buy the whole assembly so you don't have to fix a single pin. And uh, here's a 9 pin assembly for WF100. When you hold the assembly, you're going to see uh, one side has a letter, uh, either A, B, or A, C. Have that side uh, point to the sky, point up. The pin will have a bigger triangle and a smaller triangle. Have the one with a bigger triangle point to the sky. And uh, you can see there's a middle pin. And uh, so you just put in the middle and uh, push it in. Give it a little tug. And make sure they line up with other pins. Each of those latches uh, only has the spring on one side. Uh, so on the other side without spring, you can actually take it out. Just in case if you need more room to put the pin in. Let me take off one of the latches so you can see what you're working on. The two columns on the CSIC assembly should fit two holes in the, uh, in the IC board. So when you slide the assembly in, make sure to push it down and make sure it goes into the holes. Just double check the columns went through the holes. And now you can tighten the screws. Just make it take turns, move around, and make sure the, uh, the assembly is installed flat. Do not put everything back yet. Connect to LCD panel, turn on the printer, and uh, check if you fix the problem. And you can see it still shows the color cartridge not recognized. In this case, we didn't tighten the assembly uh, evenly, so it was uh, screwed on the one side. And some of the pins doesn't have good contact. So we loosen the assembly and retighten it. Another possible, uh, uh, possible problem is uh, when you put the pin in, you didn't line them up, so they're not in a straight line. So some pin up, some pin are down, are down. So you do not have a good contact to the uh, to the baseboard. You might notice that uh, we let the printer run without any cartridge. This is because we have too many errors accumulated. Uh, actually, we tightened it three times already, <laughs> and uh, so we just uh, pretend that we have a cartridge there. Let the printer run. Then the printer will say, okay, I think there's absolutely no cartridge there, and it will stop and ask us for a cartridge. It's kind of reset all the pre previous errors. So now we put the cartridge in, and uh, you're going to see it goes to the charging mode. When it says uh, ink charge, that means the printer accepted the cartridge. Now I start charging the ink. After the printer accepts cartridge, you can shut the printer down and uh, uh, just follow other video and uh, reinstall the case. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. Visit us at www.bchtechnologies.com or locally at Greensboro, North Carolina. Cheers. There was a time not long ago when printer cartridges were so expensive. Came out to play The quality cartridges save the day Oh, oh, oh